all collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. I'm kind of curious about this. It is athletic tape, and I think today's gonna be an experimentation day. I picked up this athletic tape from Target. It was like $2.79, and you get two rolls. If you've never used it, it feels like fabric on one side, and then it is sticky on the other. Let's see if we can make a no-sew tote bag. Stretch out some of the tape and cut it. Take another piece and lay it on top, overlapping just a little, and cut it. I carefully peel it up, flip it over so the sticky side is facing up. Place more tape on top so we have fabric on both sides. We can add multiple layers for a little variation. Cut to rectangles or squares for the front and back of our bag. Cut another piece into strips. Place it on the top edge and fold it over. So we have a nice clean edge there. Trim off the excess. Repeat for the other one. Then stack them with the good side facing out. Take more strips and place them on the edges and then wrap them over to the other side on two of the sides so they're connected and then across the bottom making a pocket take another strip that's long enough to go up and over on the front of the bag i have the sticky side facing up and i'm going to lay another piece right on top in the middle so it's still sticky on the ends. Cut thin strips. Attach the sticky side to the bag. I'm placing mine on the inside of the bag. I attach two for handles to make an easy no-sew tote bag. Let's see if we can add a little color. I prepared two rectangles for the front and back of the bag. I'm using a washable marker to color it. I did yellow. Now let's add some orange, red, and maybe a little more going around the sides. Add a few drops of water so the colors blend, then allow it to dry. Then I use a pen to make a design. Assemble the bag to make the dolls another tote. Let's lay down another piece of tape Take another piece and carefully cut off the edge. Place it on top, overlapping. I made three, then flip them over and cover the other side. So we have three panels. Cut one in the shape of a skirt. Cut the other two pieces to line up with the back and overlap. I take another piece of tape and put a smaller piece on top, right in the center. Take the largest panel and I'm gonna fold it in half and cut a little curve. Take the new piece we just made and there's stickiness going around the sides. We're gonna just line it up with the top edge and stick it on. Place the back of the skirt on top, lining it up on the sides to trim off the excess, creating little pocket-like areas. Hopefully this works. Let's take the back and line it up with the edge. Use thin strips on the sides, folding it over the edge to connect the two pieces. Can you see that? I know all this white might be hard to see, but I also added some tape on the edge of the pockets. With both sides connected, we can wrap it around the doll and see if we need to trim it in the back. I trimmed about this much from the sides. Take a thin strip and cut two small notches on the side. Then fold the center over like, <laughs> like so. There we go. There we go. Leaving two sticky tabs on the ends. Set those aside, then take a long strip and cut off the ends. 
cut a long strip and apply it to the bottom, folding it over the edge to clean up the bottom of the skirt. Let's take those little small pieces we made with the sticky part on the ends and I'm gonna slide it right between the pocket and the front and stick it down. I added two and then I'm gonna fold them forward then take another long strip and we're gonna place it right on the edge. Fold it over the back then take those tabs and flip them over and stick them to the back to make belt loops. I have a little Velcro and we can glue it or sew it to the back. I chose to sew it, however, it wasn't the neatest job. But let's not pay attention to that and only appreciate it from the front. We can glue on a few more details to really sell the look. Let's make a matching top. I cut four small pieces I cut an oval shape from a post-it note, making sure I have the sticky side on the other side. I place it onto the tape and cut around it. Repeat for all four pieces. Then I cut a line in the center and overlap it, creating a piece that will contour to the doll's body. I'm working with white material. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to see, so I've made my lighting a little darker. I did all four. Right now they're all pushed in. I'm gonna push one out, then take another one and stick it to, oops, <laughs> stick it to the other side carefully. So we have cloth on both sides. Cover the edges with strips of tape. Connect them with a large piece of tape. I overlapped mine just a little, then fold it over, covering all of the sticky edges. Make straps, just like we did for the belt loops, where the ends are sticky. Attach the sticky end to the front and the other side to the back. Add Velcro so it can close. Glue on details to make a no-sew doll outfit out of athletic tape. Add her bag and she is ready to make an entrance at a summer music festival. Great, now I have something to wear to Glass Dollberry 22, the UK doll music festival on Instagram. Hosted by Barbie Model Mayhem and friends. Looks like Mini Toya is about to steal somebody else's clothes. I love that we were able to make this look out of tape. Loving those belt loops and pockets. I thought it was pretty cool that we can get those kind of details without sewing. But as for longevity and wear and tear of this outfit, well, I don't know. It is made out of tape, but it's a great solution for when you need an outfit real quick. Thank you for joining us while we made a doll outfit out of athletic tape. Like comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.